Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 17th, 2023. Well, on Friday, we had a little bit of uncertainty that came in as those bond yields were rising, and there was conversation from Janet Yellen and other folks about tightening credit standards in the market and that brought in just a little bit of bearishness but nothing to be overly concerned about so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. I've had a little bit of a technical problem so I'm going to be a little bit faster on the trigger here moving things along this morning. Um, so let's take a look here. We've got pretty big resistance levels in the chart up here in the diamonds. We'll want to be watching that if those bulls find inspiration today we may push up into um, a test of friday's high and then if we can push on through there right up into that resistance level of the chart if those bears find inspiration for the day maybe a retest of friday's low and then possibly even push down below here now as you can see we've got a bullish um, setup in here in the chart so right now I'm going to have to be pretty bullish here on the diamonds, although we have that resistance above in the chart. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY also followed through with that little resting pattern in here on that chart. We found that price support continued on up. So we're bullish in the chart. Now we do have to make uh, notice of this really big price resistance level in the SPY and we'll see if we can push up through there. If we can find that bullish inspiration today, then I would suggest a push up through or to at least to test that area up here would be the likely place that we're going to go. And if those bears were to be inspired today, well, maybe a press back down to test that Friday low, a little bit of price support in trend as you can see right there and if they were to push on through there then we might start running into some of these areas in the chart and that could potentially break that upside trend not seeing anything in the price action that suggests that's going to occur but we do want to keep an eye out for that if we take a look at our qqq very similar situation where we've got a pretty substantial resistance level above and we tried to test that on friday and well, just backed away from it a little bit. QQQ ended up being one of the stronger indexes on Friday. So if we see some bullish inspiration today, maybe a push up here to retest that and then possibly a break of that area. And if that were to break, I would suggest we'll, we're going to come up here a little bit higher into some of these areas of the chart. And if those bears find inspiration today, well, maybe a retest of the Friday low once again and perhaps a push down into this support. And I gotta tell you, if that occurs, there really is no harm, no foul here in the QQQ. As a matter of fact, it might be not that hard to envision that we'll have to continue to rest in here until we start reaching some of those big tech earnings coming up in another week. So watch that close. If we take a look at our um, IWM, IWM continues to struggle in this area. As you can see, a little bit of bearishness came in here on Friday, pushing us back down. We're still below this downtrend, still below a substantial resistance area in the chart. So we continue to see this as the weakest index. So if we find that bullish inspiration, well, maybe a push up in here to test those resistance levels. It's going to need to be something special, I think, to maybe push us through that at the moment. And if we find that bearish inspiration, maybe a retest of yes or Friday's low. And then if that were to break, we push on back down here. So watch carefully for those. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX on Friday, well, <sighs> just acted like nothing was going on. Um, even though the index was, were pulling back, there was literally no fear in the market. And we continue to fall. We're down here around 17 handles in the VIX. We may be pushing on down to test 
the next level here in the chart. It does seem relatively odd to me that um, we have no fear of this banking situation and the issues that are still out there, even with the warnings from Warren Buffett and Jamie Dimon that um, there's a high probability of more bank fa failures. The market just is absolutely unfearful. Um, and that worries me. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 indicator did about what we expected on a Friday. We popped up in a gap up open on those bank earnings. We came up here, we were way up here in our T2122. Sellers came in a little bit, relieving some of that upside pressure. Again, that's one of those things we have to watch for. T2122 is not good at all at telling us which direction the market's going to move today, but it does do a really good job of telling us when we've reached an overbought or oversold condition, and we can ex expect some kind of pushback. So if we find bullish inspiration today, we have opened up an upside opportunity. We could push right back up into this area. And if those bears find inspiration, well, just keep in mind, there is still a big opportunity for them to push to the downside if that were to occur. If we look at our T2108, well, T2108 with um, the VIX falling, <laughs> we had a little pullback in the number of stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. So we reacted to this little price resistance area here in the chart with a pullback. 42.5% uh, of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. If we take a look at this, we have, however, sn snuck out from underneath that downtrend. So if we can continue to hold that bullishness in here, we might find a little bit of price support and continue to bounce higher. It would be a failure back down through there that could be a problem for the market. A little psychological problem anyway. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also pulled back. So it's interesting that in that pullback, we saw the VIX showing us absolutely no fear here in the market. As you can see, holding a little bit of price support in here, nothing to be overly concerned about. If the bears were to push a little bit more, we might come down here and test in that area. If the bulls continue to push, I think we might be able to come up here and test in these areas. And as you can see, just ever so slightly trying to sneak out of that downtrend here in the T2107. About 45 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day. Our T2101, well, um, turned back up, but then you notice we kind of hooked here a little bit. And once again, I'm not sure that we're getting all the best of data because our volumes continue to be lower than average here um, in the market. So interesting situation where we see no fear um, overall. And it may be just a, a part of that where so many folks have left the market, they've pushed money out into the money market funds at record levels trying to avoid the uncertainty and the potential of a recession. Now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for this week. We've got uh, a few things on the calendar, but a lot lighter week uh, for us to deal with on the calendar. You'll notice today we've got Empire State Manufacturing, Housing Market Index. Now, both of those have been a little bit problematic for us. Let's see how they come out today. So watch that close. We've got more uh, bond auctions and those bonds are rising this morning. We've got um, um, some Fed speak in here and we got a Treasury International Capital at the end of the day. Bigger stories that are coming up as we go through the week. We've got those housing starts and permits. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We've got the petroleum status, um, our normal uh, mortgage applications, 20 year bond auction, Bayes book and some more Fed speak. And then on Thursday, probably our biggest day of potential market move jobless claims, Philly Fed, existing home sales, natural gas, the normal things in there. And then we've got a PMI manufacturing on Friday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we're going to start ramping up here on these earnings, but not too terrible today. Um, one of the, one of the banks that we're going to want to keep an eye on here today uh, that has suffered just a little bit of an attack because of major outflows and worries from um, investors 
um, is Schwab. Schwab will be reporting today, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. And this could be potentially market moving, depending on how this bank reports. So keep an eye on that. Other stocks today, we're going to be looking at ELS. Um, for a report, we're going to look be looking at JB Hunt. Um, that'll be important one for today. MTB will be reporting. We're going to hear from PNFP today and State Street will be on the list here this morning. So keep an eye on those reports and that's really all the notables we have for today. But keep in mind guys as they continue to ramp, ramp up, there's no way I will be able to cover them all. So make sure you know where that link is for the blog just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that list of notables then let's take a look at stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please do me that favor and click that subscribe button on youtube and also click the bell icon that pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be use, uh, useful um, helpful if you could please do me that favor and that is leave that brief comment click that thumbs up button that helps the channel to continue to grow just a big shout out and thank you to everyone who does continue to support the channel and for those folks that are supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video you guys are truly awesome thank you so so much let's take a look in here and see if we can figure out how we may some stocks that we may want to be paying attention to. First off, I'm going to mention gold here today. Gold and silver have been on a tear to the upside, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely. We've got dollar moving back up here the last couple of days. So if the dollar moves up, gold and silver should fall. And I think there is a pretty substantial possibility that gold and silver may have a little bit more of a protracted pullback or consolidation. So keep an eye on that. I th they got a little bit carried away here in the short run. Might need a little bit of rest and pullback, so watch those carefully. You might also want to be keeping an eye on uh, FedEx. FedEx is setting up nice little platform up here. Really nice looking upside trend moving along. Of course, we got some resistance up here to deal with, but if we can find that bullish inspiration in here, I don't see any reason why this couldn't find that find those bulls to push right on up out of that platform. May still have to rest a little bit longer, but um, looking good. I'm gonna put UPS um, in that same kind of list um, looking very very strong here breaking that downtrend a lot more volatility here in the UPS chart as you can see but that opportunity that we may be coming back into that trend here at any time looking for that upside opportunity so keep an eye on that I think um, it would be a good idea to keep an eye on some of these drug manufacturers and, and healthcare area we've got this nice little pattern here where BMY breaking the downtrend this is a nice little platform hold after um, recovering here in that chart. If you'll notice, we are also pushing above our 50 day moving average. That is a nice sign that our moving average squeeze may be coming into play here. So keep an eye on that BMY. I think there may be that opportunity that this could find that bullish inspiration and start that next stretch to the upside at any time. And talking about those, I think we also have to look at Pfizer. Pfizer doing the same thing. As you can see, I've got a price alert on here. I'm looking for that opportunity that that might push through. We've been seeing some good moves in Johnson & Johnson pushing up through. Nice little platform hole in here showing lots of bullishness in that chart. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Um, CRWD is an interesting chart. Uh, you guys know I've mentioned this all the way from back over here in this trend. And this continues to look pretty decent. We're pushing back up. We rejected this low, pushing back up into that resistance. So watch that carefully. If that were able to pop through, there may be more upside coming in CRWD to uh, keep an eye on. Um, let's take a look at emerging markets. Emerging markets have been doing quite well also. Breaking through a nice little patterns in here, breaking through, you might look at this as a, kind of an odd, 
but a, a head and shoulders type pattern that's working. We're breaking through that neckline, showing that bullishness in here. So I keep an eye on some of those emerging market um, um, stocks in there for that upside move. The other thing is to really be keeping an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks. Um, take a look at Walmart. Walmart pushing back into a support level. This has been an incredible upside move here in that chart. Good dividend payers seem to be looking uh, like they've got quite a little bit of upside. Keep with um, Walmart showing signs of support in here, we might soon catch that next pop to the upside in that. And we've just seen some of these stocks just soar. Um, Hershey's pushing up big time. Probably needed this rest in here, but I would watch for that next opportunity to catch that trend or support if um, these old dividend payers want to keep moving. Other places, keep an eye on telecommunications. AT&T, really strong. Verizon showing good bullish patterns and that opportunity that that might push off of there and take off to the upside. So with that guys, trying to cut this video a little bit short because of time. If you guys, um, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome day. Be a little bit careful out there. There could be some volatility with these reports. Just keep in mind we're a little bit stretched to the upside. A little bit of rest or pullback will not be out of the question. Everyone take care, be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.